Hey, hello and welcome. Yes, I am back to bring you guys an ATEC tutorial, in addition to the series that I made six years ago, which I might redo one day. Now, for the people who just want an answer to the question on how to ATEC, release A between MIDI turbos. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Anyway, before we start, I do want to emphasize it's important to get your mini turbos rather consistent before even attempting this technique. If you're familiar with the standards, I'd say expert C, and if you're not familiar, basically make sure you're consistent and confident with them, else you won't be profiting of it, you'll look like an idiot and I will hate you. Also before I forget, here's some quick terminology. Mini turbo, or MT for short, are the bread and butter of the MKD speedrunner. You can do a right facing MT or a left facing MT, sometimes even shorter to a right or a left. Sideways boost, a technique where you hold inwards when releasing your mini turbo, which for some reason pushes the car sideways. More info in the description if you're curious. Spacing, the act of leaving room for your mini turbos to work. The moment you press R during an active mini turbo, it will start lowering your speed back to original top speed. Mini turbos last up to 30 frames at least when using lightweight characters, so half a second. For ATEC to work properly, you'll need to be able to manage this well. This concept is called spacing. When you start your MTs too early, it's underspacing. The opposite, overspacing. Okay, that's it for terminology. Also, quick disclaimer, please don't ATEC every mini turbo. It's not helping you, just, just watch this video, okay? Thank you. So let's jump into it. To begin, we first have to ask ourselves, what even is ATEC? ATEC is the main component of high-level MKDD, and it is what makes it such an insanely technical game. Even though the principle is pretty simple, there is many different levels of control. But the most important and first use you're probably looking for, ATEC can make you drift in an almost completely straight line. On top of that, it can add subtle line adjustments, you can add mini turbos where you couldn't before. And you can also go absolutely nuts by going sideways. And so why does it work? Well, simply put, I, I, I you know. No, like really, nobody really knows. The general agreement, however, is that drifting and releasing a mini turbo actually adds some kind of trajectorial velocity and that ATEC makes the cart ignore that. In this clip, you can see that the cart isn't getting closer to the wall, even though it's facing it. That same reduced velocity is also why this turn is smooth rather than jagged. But that's more advanced stuff. As what most people will probably be using ATEC for, and definitely should begin with, drifting on straight. Now that we know what ATEC can do, it's time for the how. There are six following segments describing separate ways of ATECing. Let's start! Number 1. Full ATEC These MTs are generally done with full ATEC until you're higher level. There are multiple kinds of ATEC which I will get into later, or check out the video's timeline. Full ATEC is done by simply syncing the A and R presses. So you hold A during the mini turbo and release A between the mini turbos. Be sure to leave enough space between mini turbos so you can use the full turbo. It's easy to fall into a trap where you try to regain control by immediately starting another mini turbo right after you ATEC. Don't. It's important to space out your mini turbos between ATECs and this applies to all kinds of ATEC by the way. Another general rule for ATEC is that you have to be very careful when you use or start it as it applies to your current momentum. So. If you start ATEC in a corner like here, you'll go wide. So try to straighten out before you do a full ATEC, for example. Not only that, the ATEC will actually also affect the next MT, even if not ATECing. This applies to every form of ATEC, just not in its full effect. Fun fact, when learning from videos, look out for the smoke plume here coming from the barrel train. This means that A has been pressed and thus ATEC was used. You can't tell when A gets released, but at the very least it might help recognizing it more. Number 2. Half ATEC Some people never even dip full ATEC and simply used half ATEC from the beginning. Half in this case doesn't mean half an A press, 
or that you exactly release A for half of the length of a full one. It simply means that you don't fully release A between mini turbos. Now, you can release A directly after releasing the mini turbo, releasing it in the middle, or releasing it before the next MT. Often A is repressed in sync with the next drift or a bit before. On top of that, the duration may vary as well. The shorter, the less effect. The later, the more effect on your next mini turbo. I want to specify a bit more about this tech because it is crucial to making slight adjustments in your ATEC. There is no go-to for timing with half ATEX apart from the late release I just mentioned. The shorter variant is sometimes called a dab of ATEX, where the release is so minuscule in order to push you wider and save your line, such as in Luigi's big U-turn or Peach Peach's first corner. This can make for some amazing adjustments and is pretty much applicable anywhere in any track. Number 3. Smooth ATEX Smooth ATEC basically means full or half ATEC, but in the same direction. You can even correct the line with A-less MTs, something I'll get into later. There's actually many applications to this, but the most common ones are this second to last corner in Wario, and this fast DK Mountain strut. The most important technique, or theory, to get this to work is the initial setup. Make sure that you start with the mini turbo in the opposite direction, or at the very least, reset your momentum. Then start attacking to one direction. Hitting a wall will send you flying. Under spacing will make you turn too much. And over spacing will make you go wide. I'd recommend sticking to full ATEC for this, but you can do half ATEC if you're really already used to it. The best place to practice this is this specific turn in Wario. Number 4. Fancy ATEC. This technique is the base for all the more advanced ATEC strategies that you see. What sets it apart from the other ATECs is that a fancy ATEC MT, or just a fancy, releases A before releasing R. To reiterate, you release A before you release the mini turbo. The earlier you release A, the stronger the effect. But be careful with accidental speed loss. The repress will also depend on what you're planning next, but most do it around halfway. You can check my controller input display to see when I release it in certain scenarios. Examples of fancy ATEC are these two spots in Luigi, although they can be done without fancy ATEC. I will get into more details in the final chapter. And most importantly, sideways peach peach flap strat and the BP sideways strat. If you're curious about the timing, feel free to slow down the video. This is an extremely difficult technique to master. Take some time to practice the motion of releasing A before you release your MT, and make sure you don't underspace. And for the people that like BP flap, yes, the strat is to combine this type of ATEC together with a sideways boost to make for an extreme turnaround, like so. Flap. Number 5. A-less MTs. Only being used sporadically, A-less MTs are basically what the name implies. <laughs> mini turbos without holding A at all, often not even in between mini turbos. The goal of these MTs are to negate any current momentum and MT into a certain direction at all costs. Current standard art uses are actually both on DK Mountain, be it here at the end of the mountain section, or here to squeeze in some mini turbos after the shortcut. However, you can also do a variant of a -less by starting the MT without an A press, then pressing A around the middle of it. This is done to regain control during smooth ATEC, or have an extra hard pull to a certain direction, such as here, before the DJ shortcut bridge. Number 6. Analysis. I'm just going to look at what ATEC I do and explain why I do it, because now we know the how and the what and the whatever of ATEC, so the only thing you need to do is apply it. I want to say that this is not necessarily how you should do it, but it's just why I use these certain types of ATEC, and your ATEC will somewhat differ, but generally it might be pretty similar. But yeah, let's uh, let's just start and you'll, you'll get it eventually. So here in the beginning, we start off with a normal right, um, and then 
as you can see, A is released here because I'm setting up for the sideways peach peach flap start. And that requires fancy A tech. So this is a fancy A tech all the way through. Another one, uh, full A tech, funnily enough, in order to slowly get me towards that side. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to reach the ocean. So I set myself up for it and do the shroom. And here I'm setting up for the next type of ATEC where I do a slight uh, uh, release here before I release R. The reason I do that is because I want to be further on the left. Now I might have done it a little bit too much, who knows. Um, so yeah, that is a slight adjustment that you can make but you don't have to do, right? So here I release A with R with a full ATEC and start my smooth ATEC. So in half ATEC there. And now I'm perfectly set up somewhat in order to hit the uh, the pink rock corner. So have A tech on the beach. Funnily enough, if you do want to practice A tech and you go to Peach Beach, the sand is actually a bit more slippery. So um, it is kind of great and bad at the same time because it will amplify your mistakes. But you know, it will amplify your mistakes. So yeah. So here I'm setting up with a normal MT. Sometimes I would a tech here to push me a little bit wide. I'll do it in the last corner. But because I got a little bump there, I knew that I was going to go wide enough not to do so. Usually I would otherwise. So here I do a full a tech in order to go more towards the left. Now I actually go a little bit too far. Um, but the reason was I didn't want to go too far to the left. Now I still did it too far anyway. Um, but that's why in the first one at the shroom, I did a slight fancy. And here I just did a normal full a tech. You probably should have done like a half a tech, because um, yeah, then I just do it right and uh, I go a little bit wide. But this is the this is the thing about a tech, right? You can make very slight adjustments, and a lot of the time there's a slightly better adjustment that you could have done. So there's no set in stone a tech which is the best. Of course, you have the certain types such as smooth a tech coming out of the shrooms and a fancy a tech to start the whole sideways thing. But generally, the small details are something you need to feel. This is not something you can just copy as a, as a human task, right? So I did a slight a tech there in the last corner in order to push me a bit wider because I had a feeling I wouldn't go uh, wide enough to not hit the grass. And then I finish it off with some half a tech. Now, another reason I only used a little bit of a tech there instead of using it all the way was because I'm trying to cut this corner really tight. If I would have done a full A tech or a bit more A tech right, right around there, I would have gone a lot wider and it would have had more effect on this mini turbo. Now you can see I do a left mini turbo and even though I still have that momentum just a little bit, I regain traction pretty soon. Now I still kind of go wide but you know this whole lap isn't about being perfect, it's just a general lap and I'm trying to explain at least what my thought process is when I'm A teching. So yeah, more fancy ATAC and very uh, focused adjustments sometimes. Um, they're very subtle, but they're there. And you'll get there eventually as well. Because uh, that's one part I didn't mention. The stick movement does slightly matter, but yeah, that is something you'll pick up just by learning how to MT better uh, and how this game really works. So that's a 7 to 1 lap. Let's look into Luigi. So in Luigi, I want to emphasize a few points. For example, this chomp plane here, a lot of people uh, do a little bit, including myself, do a little bit of a tech here uh, in order to keep straight, especially right here. Um, however, in this example, I don't. Is that a bad thing? Maybe, but it's not as bad. You know, as long as it works, it works. In this corner, I do a little bit of a tech in order to make me not go into the sand. And here, if you look correctly, you could have seen a fancy a tech, there you go. Following it up is some smooth A tech actually. Setting up another fancy. It did lag, but you could see the release in there just a little bit. And this might be, yeah, another fancy. So, yeah, I hope that helps. And on to the end. The best places to practice A tech are Mushroom Bridges Bridge. Peach Beaches Beaches, and Yoshi Circuit's next section, like this specific ATEC right here. These are just examples however, so practice where you like. 
Lastly, I want to emphasize a few things. Number one is to keep your spacing as normal as you can. It will be so much easier to control ATEC when you're under spacing, but you won't get the full effect, nor do you get the speed of the mini turbos. Number two is to not be afraid to start and take your time with the basics. Don't rush into fancy ATEC right off the bat. Practice with full, try out half, and take your time to master it so it actually comes natural. And there we have it! Hopefully this helps understanding the gameplay as a viewer and as a carter yourself. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. That's it. Thanks for watching.